Happy nursing, and today we are talking about angina. So angina is chest pain resulting from inadequate blood flow to the heart muscle. If the flow is not restored, it can lead to further damage. So the most common causes of angina is one coronary artery disease. Um, We may see these atherosclerotic plaques rupture, clot formation, um, which can again decrease that blood flow to the heart. Some other causes, uh, anemia, heart failure, stress or overexertion, abnormal rhythms. So we have a couple different types of angina. The first one is stable with exertion and it's relieved by nitroglycerin. We have unstable, which you see at rest, it lasts longer and it's unrelieved by nitroglycerin. And we have variant angina, which is unpredictable. Now, of course, our desired outcome is we want to restore blood flow, decrease chest pain, and improve tolerance to activity. Now, to assess for angina, we'll look at subjective data like chest pain and dyspnea on exertion. Now, for objective data, we're going to look at blood pressure. Hypotension, we're going to see decreased cardiac output. Hypertension, we're going to see increased stress on the heart. Uh, arrhythmias for bradycardias will see decreased cardiac output for superventricular superventricular tachycardia we're going to see increased stress on the heart and for atrial fibrillation we'll see increased stress on the heart a few other things we might see with angina is syncope they may be pale they may be diaphoretic now let's talk about talk about therapeutic management. How are we going to treat this? Um, we have six different things that we might do here. The first one we'll look at is medications. Um, so some medications that we might look at is thionopyridine or clopidogrel. Uh, we may also do heparin. We have our renin angiotensin blockade, ARBs or ACE inhibitors. Um, we may use oxygen. We may use morphine if indicated by the facility, possibly beta blockers, possibly nitroglycerin per facility policy. The second med- or management, therapeutic management, is an EKG. That will help us rule out a STEMI and monitor arrhythmias. Third, we're going to monitor vital signs, heart rate, BP, SpO2. We're going to check for changes. Fourth, we'll look at cardiac enzymes to determine if there's heart damage. Fifth, We may look at a cardiac stress test to determine the myocardial stress point. And lastly, cluster care, rest to decrease myocardial O2 demands. So again, we are talking about angina. We have a few different types, but in general, angina is chest pain resulting from inadequate blood flow to the heart muscle. And if the flow is not restored, we may see additional damage. Thanks. Look forward to seeing you next time. This has been another episode of NCLEX Flash Notes Podcast, your no-fluff study companion for NCLEX success, providing exceptionally clear and concise content to conquer the NCLEX exam. Now, if you want to follow along while you listen to this show, you can head over to nclexbook.com to get our free ebook, NCLEX Flash Notes, with 77 must-know NCLEX nursing topics. And as a bonus, you'll receive 16 full-color nursing cheat sheets. Don't wait. Visit nclexbook.com today. That's nclexbook, N-C-L-E-X-B-O-O-K.com. Happy nursing.